guys, let's go ahead and watch this. Um, got this uh, from uh, the, the the public release, but finally making it over to to uh, giving you guys a video of it. This is the morning of the the morning of the failures. I would guess you know six seven a.m. here. The sunlight, and let's go from there. That they're out there, um, probably seven a.m. because of working. You know, allowed to work certain times of the day. And you, we're going to see them mount up on this bridge. We're going to see them mount on this bridge. And it appears like they're inspecting the bridge. We'll even see the lift come over and people climb up. So let's go ahead. There we go. we got people up already. And they're going to be looking at each node by chance. And apparently uh, standing station by each node. Um... The next video I'll show, and there's from down here, we're going to see people standing, looking at the, by their post tensioning or tensioning, apparently tensioning number eleven. Um, we'll also notice that it appears they're they're not going to be tensioning number two initially, as I think NTSB reported that, didn't they? In one of the videos I did a long time ago, you can see them all down here now, doing their um, view inspection. Um, what puts us to the day of? is that this crane doesn't move here in the next video. They broke it into two videos, the uh, FIU release. And we're going to see this crane um, come into play in part of the second video. But, and it's, so that, that means we're on the day off. Um, so here we go. Again, uh, they're, they're down here looking at each node kind of weirdly, uh, oddly. Um, I guess they were going to do 2 and 11. But again, remember they reported that number 2 was done. And now we're at, yeah, now we're at uh, that uh, we see that in this, in this um, time lapse that they're offering us, we're going to see that only number 11 is being done. We won't see the machine, uh, the crane, come over here and hoist any, any lifting equipment over to this point. So, there we go with some more, um, how can I say, lies, nefarious statements. How about that? Made by these nefarious or, or lies or an error. I mean, how can you make these mistakes? They've got access to the data. We're just speculating what we're seeing. And, you know, it's, uh, and we're, we're, we're getting pretty close. We see the man lift down here, some more inspection. Perhaps looking at the cracks in the back, photographing, etc. Um, we see we got a little a huddle up here. This huddle has been here for some time. And let's, we'll continue on. I'm going to pause and then I'm going to grab the other video. We're going to see a man lift come into play. And we've got, you know, they're obviously not scared being up there. No one, no one's, well, they're up there. Let's grab the next video to, this is going to be the collapse video. Give me a moment to pause this and start over. So now let's jump, let's jump right on into the, uh, still here's the crane, and I speculate this is the same day. Now we've got the road closed off. Uh, we got another crane over here. So there's that crane I said didn't move, and now this crane is coming up. There's a man lift that was there during the crash, and here we go. So we'll just let this play out. I know it's, 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 uh, yeah, take a moment. So what I did was, and you can slow this down again. I slowed this down to, uh, one quarter speed. Um, you then can slow it down to another quarter speed and see even better, perhaps, what's going on. So you can slow down my quarter to a quarter. I'd, I'd recommend that. Yes, it's going to take you longer. And my voiceover will be, will be trashed because of, 
least I can talk at a quarter speed. Um, but right now, we're going to see that they're going to be up here for some time. Um, and they're not going down here. Not that's 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 a false statement to say they did that one. I don't see any uh, any way that could happen with the released uh, videos we have. But we're going to see a man, a person, present himself here and, and focus down here while they're working up here. And keep coming. There we go. And they're going to keep addressing um, this number eleven. And so this is very telling. There we're at number eleven. Number eleven. Number eleven. Not really over here so much, are we? This side seems to be, be dominating, although uh, you'll, you'll see. And we'll just keep track of this crew bouncing around. Now remember, they, when they do a time lapse, you, they can grab the frames and put it in here. There's nothing you can get by time lapse. Uh, someone sent me a link to uh, the other forum, the uh, forum uh, engine tips. And, I, oh gosh, that was some reading. But they were talking about how it's bounced up and down, you know, that took a rock. And everybody's like, yeah, that's right. No, not everybody. But people are like, yeah, that's right. I see it now. Look, it's a, it's a time lapse. You cannot determine if anything bounced up and down by that time lapse. It's jumping images. So, you know, they can skip. They can move around images by mistake or nefariously on purpose. There is, uh, there is no, nothing like that going on. You cannot determine that with, with this with this stuff. You'd have to figure out frame by frame, like this tractor is going forward. So that's good. So we can now say if the tractor is going forward, that these next frames are in line. These frames are in line. But now we just jump. You can see that how all of a sudden the road clears. So they're obviously selectively um, making a time lapse here. This is not just a, every three frames that we're looking at. They're, they're being very selective on their, on their frames. All right, so this is what they want us to see. So we're looking at what they want us to see, so it makes you wonder what's between the time lapse, right? What's missing? All right, so they're, they're at the node. And the meeting's taking place probably right about now. And people are going back and forth, the banter in that meeting. And these guys are on station. Um back and forth, you know, standing by, uh, apparently. We have the truck that gets crushed, apparently, right here. Or is it here? Um, one or the other. There's the lane. We've got about another minute and 40 seconds in this video. So you guys got to bear with it a bit. So we got the man lift going up. And it looks like they're setting tooling. And there we go. Now we're going to st stand by for it because we're going to see a man lift come over here. Someone's going to get on if, if I'm right with this video. And right here, we're going to really see them start focusing and, and addressing. This person is, you know, the people standing right there where the crack is supposed to be, if you will. If I can state that. So let me do this now. Yep, it's going to be pixelated when I do that. But let's go ahead and see what we can, the gist of what we can get out of it. Postures, moving, standing by, whatever. Let's see what we can get. Um, I don't see any jackhammers, but I can't tell what I'm looking at. But now we're down to two people standing on this corner here. We get this is a person sitting down. I saw another video. And it's a person who's sitting down right here on top of this nude. Now they're gone. They'll be back. And there's another. This is very interesting how they keep popping in and out. If you look to the left here, they're gone. But there we are again. This is a major, major interest down here. This number eleven, obviously. But we show this it wasn't haphazard. Haphazard. This one's got a lot of people involved in this, and no one stopped to worry about safety on this. Obviously, 
No one stopped to worry about safety. Full steam ahead. So here's a couple of couple of uh, cement trucks, concrete trucks. I always thought that would, if it only fell on the concrete truck, that ball would have helped out, I would suppose. Okay, here we go. There's that person sitting down again. This person apparently loves to sit down. Now here we are back down here. So a lot of attention back down here. And yet, we have such limited data about these damn cracks. You know, how, how is that possible? How is that possible? That everyone can keep their mouth shut now. You know, this shows you that, you know, the, the, the company is crazy. This person sitting down again. I've seen it in another video. They're quite annoying, actually, to... I don't, I don't like people sitting down on a job like that. It's annoying to me. It's kind of triggering me. Now. We're back down here again. All right, we got we got less than a minute left of this. And it will, at the end, we will see it crash. We will see it on the ground. They just, you know, selectively pull out images again. So I loaded this up already and then, then then went slow here with YouTube to grab the video I'm showing you guys. So I process it. Then I'm going to process it again. So we, like I said, we're looking at that quarter deal. You guys can then run it at a quarter. Just trying to grab data out of it. So here's this guy standing, a person standing here, really by themselves, just really on top of that. You know, that number 11 down, they're bending down. Who is this person, right? All these people, all of a sudden, a mum, you know, they, they didn't sign, they didn't all sign in on the damn uh, NTSB paperwork. Look at them now. But yet, NTSB, I won't talk. So why aren't these people speaking up? Because they're heartless. All they care about is themselves. That's my opinion. Heartless. That's not the owner of MCM. That's not the owner, that's not owner of you know, fig. That's not the people that all sign do not do not uh do not disclose. All right, the other crane's gone now. Got less than a minute, less than uh, thirty seconds. There's a crane again, but look at all that, all that delay and all that hanging around waiting, hanging around waiting before they put a load on it. Once they put the load on it, there's your collapse, and there we are again. So it's it's not by by chance that it collapsed. This was this would all would would indicate that their post tensioning. Added was the force that causes bridge to collapse. There is no number two post tension added at this point. This was that this force, whatever you guys can figure out, this is the force that caused the uh, the bridge to fail. Whatever they applied there, would love to know what it was. But that's the one that did it. Because we're looking at a bridge standing standing strong. You know, albeit right, going to fail anyway, but it's standing strong out of its own weight right now. It's not collapsed because of the cracks. Ultimately, it would have creeped down and cracked, uh, fall, fallen. It wasn't going to get better on its own. But here is the, the step that's going to cause the failure. And there's the failure. It has jumped to it, obviously. 
But there's a step that caused a failure. And they, they all of a sudden jump to this frame where you see people running across already. And I don't know if this, this, this is the truck with the can't dash cam right here. But, all right, I'm terminating the video. And you guys can say whatever you like to say. Thank you.